Hi, Mike Violet with EMC TV. And Graham Kilshaw from Interference Technology. Welcome to Long Beach, Graham. Welcome to Long Beach, Mike. Here we are again, seven years later. Seven years later, we're back at Long Beach. A great area, great venue, uh, a lot of good stuff. On yeah. the, we got the final program here. What's yeah. up this week? Well, you know what? The bit that really sort of caught my attention was, was Ray Adams' sort of intro here. If you look at the history of uh, Southern California, and especially this area, I mean, there was and still is a ton of military and aerospace business. Kind of interesting, he sort of looks, if I can find this here, you know, in the past you had Hughes Aircraft, TRW, Rockwell, McDonnell Douglas, Lytton and Northrop. As he says, none of these original names went untouched. Today it's Northrop, Grumman and Boeing that kind of dominate the area. But so I'm really hoping we're going to see uh, at least a few people from the aerospace industry this week. I think we're in the right area. We're also going to see people from overseas. We've got some German uh, participants over here. We've yep. got the international community. The Chinese community always shows up. Yep. They do a lot of presentations too, a lot of modeling type of uh, studies. Yeah, I'm noticing as I walked around the trade show this morning while all the vacuum cleaners were going, just the number of Chinese companies that are really sort of getting sort of connected to the EMC market in the United States now. More of them here. The booths are getting a little more uh, fancy, shall we say. Yeah. And, uh, and they're showing these, pretty these are going to be seri equipment. serious yeah. players in the manufacturer market now in the U.S., especially on the component side. Yeah. And on the test equipment side, too. They're That's true. Yeah, 3C tests, folks yes. like that. Yep. Regal, yeah. they're here. And we're going online again this year. Yep. The online symposium enters its second year and uh, is gaining ground with more uh, exhibitors participating as sponsors. Thank you, exhibitors, for being sponsors. And uh, we're already at the same number of people that attended last year, and the show hasn't even started. So, so we're anticipating some good numbers by the end of the week. And uh, it's all recorded and on demand. So uh, if you want to tap into that next week, next month, or even later in the year, you can still sort of purchase those webinars as a series of training modules you know, to watch any time you like. So um, check out the online symposium. And the keynote's free, so there's a, a chunk of uh, time there that uh, you can look for free. Yeah. And we yeah. have to thank uh, Rody and Schwartz, our master sponsor for the online yeah, symposium they, 2018. These guys the second year really row, made it happen. Really, really you know, up. these things thanks. don't happen for free. And um, big thanks to Rody and Schwartz for being the master sponsor and making this thing happen. It's gonna, it's gonna take the symposium into the future without a doubt. Our community is benefiting. Did you see the zombies? Did you see the zombies? <laughs> Yesterday, so it is now Monday evening, or if you ask Mike, who just got a 16-hour flight from India, it's still July. Last week, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yesterday being Sunday and the day before, there was a zombie convention in the same convention hall that we're sitting right now. In fact, just a few yards out way over there. Uh, they now, checked out last night, unfortunately. So yeah, it's a shame. Some, we got some, we got some footage, maybe. They had. 16,000 attendees over the weekend. Can you believe it? Is that right? It's yeah. almost as big as an EMC show. It's crazy. <laughs> almost as lively. <laughs> but, uh, there was some great costumes, I can tell you. It's a lot of fun. I was walking, walking. They was all breaking up yesterday, and there was two ghouls, and they were all, all done up, all ghoulish, and one ghoul said to the other, you got some really nice friends. <laughs> <laughs> and the little kids that were dressed up as well, I mean, very scary stuff. Very lots, scary stuff. Lots of body art. <laughs> so anyway. what about this antenna short course? I keep hearing about this week. I'm getting messages on LinkedIn. Constantin Balanus. Uh, I'm glad you could pronounce it. Yeah, that he's, seems, he's a, that's new, right? Yeah, this is a, a first of its kind here at the show. We're uh, glad to have Dr. Balanus, who has been a seminal development of antennas, okay. and of course, in our wireless world. Do you know much about his past, Mike? What's his biography? I believe I had a textbook from him and uh, back hmm. when I was in my, my undergrad days, hmm. and it's still on my shelf. And we're talking about wireless antennas for mm -hmm. uh, transmitting and receiving it. We're not talking about the, the test antennas, are we, for Cla IH systems? Classic antenna theory. Okay. Yeah, and we're pushing into higher frequencies. So all the stuff that studied that I studied, which was military applications like phased array and beamform antennas, mm. now we're coming to products that you can wear and use yep. and buy. And this is uh, goes towards a spectral efficiency, really, because if you can point the energy in one direction, you're going to have less chance of interfering with other devices off axis. Right. So you'll have you'll have electronically steered, and we have electronically steered antennas that can have 
extremely high directionality. And avoid can, or minimize the interference. Minimize interference yeah. and improve uh, link margins on uh, on long haul communications and short haul. Well, it, this, this kind of goes along with what uh, the interference technology editor Kenneth Wyatt has been talking about for a couple of years on that go now, oh, for for a couple of years now I should say, and he calls it platform interference, where you have device manufacturers who are adding a wireless module to what was previously a non-wireless device and, and creating essentially platform interference. Of course the antennas, you know, the big question mark in all of big that. Big question, that's so, the portal, no, yeah. Google platform interference, and you'll see more about this sort of antenna selection sort of question we're all trying to solve. And this is a key part of our SIPI pro, uh, program yep. here, signal integrity, power integrity, because these yep. densities are going up, and we have to have more complex devices that have to interoperate with themselves. Yeah, yep. it's all interrelated now. So we got the show this week. We'll be back daily, and hope you can tune in. Uh, check out emctv.tv, and check out the online symposium. Yep. Welcome we'll be to here Beach. every day, emctv.tv. Mike and Graham, signing off. See you tomorrow. Cheers. Thanks.